Hello everyone, I'm Coach Kozak from HasFit, and this is my 15 minute easy workout to build strength and lose fat. This is a great low impact workout for beginners that you can do in the comfort of your own home. I'm going to do this entire routine with you, and the only equipment you're going to need is a light pair of dumbbells. Most females we use between 2 to 8 pounds, where most males we use between 5 to 15 pounds. Well, I'm ready to go. I hope you are too. Let's get started. Alright, we're going to start with an upright row plus calf raise, grabbing your dumbbells, feet are shoulder width apart. We're going to bring your elbows straight up and at the same time come on to the balls of your feet. We're doing this movement simultaneously. A little bend your knees up on the balls of your feet and bring your elbows up at the same time. This is a nice controlled movement. We're not doing it explosively. Make sure to breathe while doing it. Good job. We're only going to do this one for five more seconds. And four, three, two, one. All right, good. We set the dumbbells down for the next one. Next, we're going to get our heart rate up a little bit, and at the same time, we're going to work our abs. Feet a little wider than shoulder width. Your arms are out. We're going to twist and bring your knee up. So arms stay straight out. We're going to twist into the knee. So not twisting away from, but twisting into the knee. So for all the exercises we're going to do today, because this is a beginner workout, I really want you to focus on moving at your own pace. There's no rush. You're only competing against yourself. Good. So if you start to feel comfortable with it, you can pick up the speed a little bit. Otherwise, it's okay. Make sure you just keep it at your own pace. Breathing throughout. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. Next, we're going to do a modified version of a push up called the wall push up. We're going to start on the wall. The lower your hands are on the wall, the harder it's going to be. Higher, the easier it's going to be. Also, with your feet, the further back your feet are, the harder it'll be. And the closer your feet are to the wall, the easier it'll be. I want to make sure that you have your hands in line with your chest, not your face. You're going to reach with your chest and not reach with your face. Make sure you're bending your elbows until they get to a 90 degree angle, coming up on the balls of your feet. We're going to do this movement for 30 seconds. Make sure you keep your abs tight and breathe. You get to dictate how hard this is by how far or how close you are to the wall. Good. Let's go five more seconds. And four, three, two, one. All right, excellent job. On to the next one, we're going to do what's called a split squat. This is like a beginner lunge movement with our feet shoulder width apart, opposite foot back, good posture, hands on our hips. We're going to drop straight down. Now, ideally, I'd like you to get all the way down where both knees are at 90 degree angle, but if you're just getting started, that might not be an option yet, which is totally okay. Just a little squat is perfectly okay. And as you get more comfortable with the movement, try to push it and get lower. We're going to do 15 seconds on each side, so I want you to switch. Again, hands are on your hips, good posture, and we're dropping straight down from the side. Try to get these knees to a 90 degree angle. But again, if you can't quite get that low yet, that's okay. This is just what you're aiming for. This is our overall goal. Good, dropping straight down. Not bringing our weight forward, but straight down. Excellent. Next, we're just gonna jog in place, getting your heart rate up. Depending on what fitness level you're at, is gonna dictate the pace you go. If you're in a little better shape, then you can really get it going. But, if this is one of your first workouts, it's okay if your feet are barely getting up off the ground. We understand everybody's got to start somewhere, and this is a 15 minute easy workout. We're going to build some confidence, and with this, you'll get better every time, and you can move on to some more advanced workouts. I'm proud of you for getting started today. Make sure you're breathing, moving those arms. Three, two, one. Good job. Grab those dumbbells again. Both of them are needed. We're going to have our feet shoulder width apart. Little bend our knees, butt back, bend over 45 degree angle. And now we're going to alternate row. One at a time, 
Anytime we do any movement where we're pulling with our back, I want you to visualize you're pulling back on your elbows. Not on your hands, but pulling back, you have strings attached to your elbows. Good, breathe to keep your back straight and alternate those rows. Good job, keep it up. You got 10 more seconds. Again, working at your own pace and remembering to breathe. You're doing great, keep it up. In five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay, we're gonna set these down. We're gonna move on down to the floor. I'll give you a couple different variations. We're gonna do a plank, an easier version of a plank from our knees. We can either do it from our knees and our forearms, which is harder, or here, we're gonna hold for 30 seconds. I'm gonna let you decide which one is right for you. But the key is to bring your hips forward. Don't have your butt up in the air like so, or else it's not gonna do anything. You gotta bring those hips forward and hold. Breathe. There it is. Keep those abs tight and just hold. That's the whole movement. This is called the plank. Eventually, we'll be able to do it up on the balls of our feet. But for today, this is just fine. And five, four, three, two, one. All right, good job. Go ahead and stand back up. Give you a second. Next, we're going to do a one leg good morning. Hands are on our hips. We're going to put one leg out in front, a little bit in the back one. Opposite leg is straight and around the heel. Not a lot of range of motion with this, but you'll feel a stretch in the back of your leg. We're going to do each leg separately, keeping your head up and back straight. We're going to kick our butt back as we bend over at the waist, and you'll feel a big stretch in this hamstring of the leg that's out straight from the side. Good. Again, breathing in five, four, three, two, one. Switch it up, opposite leg out. Bend the butt and kick that butt backwards as you bend over and keep your head up throughout the movement. You're doing great. We got five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and zero. Great job. That's the end of the first round. All right, let's get this second round started. We're doing the upright row with the calf raise. Try to coordinate both movements together. And then when you can't bring your elbows any higher, that's when you've reached your highest point. Don't continue and try to bring your hands up afterwards. Good, make sure we're breathing. We're doing 30 seconds of each one of these movements. And then we're moving on to the next. Good job, we only have five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we're gonna set these down. And we're gonna put our arms out of our side. Feet are a little wider to show the width. We're gonna bring our knees up, and it's okay if you can't get your knees quite as high as I'm getting mine. Try your best. Remember, you're working at your own pace today, only competing with yourself. And a good thing to remember as a beginner is you're still lapping everybody else who's on the couch. Good, breathe. Any of these in as you can in the 30 second time frame. And five, four, three, two, one. All right. Doing the wall push ups next for 30 seconds. Remember, you decide how hard you're going to make these by how close to the wall you are and by how high or low your hands are. But I would really like you to try to get those elbows to a 90 degree angle on every rep so we get nice full range of motion and you don't end up cheating yourself. And don't end up stretching your neck and your face on every rep. Good. I want you to strain your neck while doing these. And we have five, four, three, two, one. Good. Moving to the next one. We're doing the split squat again so we have our feet shoulder width apart. Good posture, hands on our hips, and we're gonna drop straight down. Remember, don't put your weight forward, but instead, straight down. We're gonna do 15 seconds on each side. Good work, keep it up. And five, four, three, two, one. Time to switch already. You're doing great, this workout's flying by. Think about how great you're gonna feel when this is all done how accomplished you're going to feel, 
how proud you're going to feel of yourself that you did it. You got it done. You can check it off your list for the day. Good. Three, two, one. All right. Moving to the jog in place. We're going to get that heart rate up. Remember, working at your own pace, not forgetting to breathe. Try to get opposite arm and leg working together. We're going to gain some coordination in this as well. Good, good, good. Burning calories today. You're doing great. Keep it up. And five, four, three, two, one. Grab those dumbbells. We're doing that bent over row, alternating arms. Weights in our butt, palm back with our elbows, one at a time. Good job, keep it up. Remember, if you're trying to lose weight, you gotta have your diet in order as well. It's not enough to just exercise. So if that's the case, check out Haskett's website where we have our free meal plans. Everything's there, all for you as a resource, all for free, you're not trying to sell you anything. Bunch of great healthy recipes as well. Doing good, keep it up, breathe. Three, two, one. Set these down. Moving on to the next one. Going to our knees. We're going to do a plank from our knees. Remember, we need to do a high plank from our knees or a low plank. It's up to you, but the key is make those hips drop. Make sure your back is straight. We don't want that butt up in the air. And we're going to hold for 30 seconds. Keep those abs nice and tight. Doing good. Very proud of you so far. More than halfway done. All right, 10 seconds left on this one. Stay tough, stay strong. You're doing great, dig deep. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, on your feet. Doing the one leg good morning next. I didn't name it, don't ask me why it's called this. One leg out in front of you, a little bend that back knee. Leg straight on the heel. Put that butt back, stretch that hamstring all the way back, all the way up, while keeping your back straight. Keep your head up as well. I want you rounding that back and putting your head down. Good. Breathe. 15 seconds on each leg. So that means it's time to switch. Doing great. This is the last one in the second round. Here we go. Count them down. And five, four, Three, two, one, zero. That's the end of the second round. Only one more round to go. All right, last round, everyone. Going back to the upright row with calf raise, coordinating them well together. And we are breathing just like we have been for the last few minutes. Drive up off those balls of the feet, working the calves as well as your upper back and your balance. Good job. Only 10 more seconds on this one. And five, four, three, two, one. All right, set these dumbbells down. We got our arms out, feet a little wider to shoulder width. And we're twisting into that knee. Getting some good ab workout, as well as getting our heart rate up a little bit. Again, working at your pace is a nice low impact movement. You don't have to worry about any jarring on the joints. Good job. Only 10 more seconds on this one. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good. All right, onto the wall we go for the wall push-ups. This is probably one of the tougher ones. Now, everybody's different, so what might be hard for you might be easy for somebody else and vice versa. But everybody has their strengths, everybody has their weaknesses. As long as you keep pushing through, that's all that matters. Good job. Breathe and push. Here we go. Only 10 more seconds. Get as many in as you can. Keeping those abs tight. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent work. Moving on to the split squats next. Hands are on our hips, and we're dropping straight down. Good job. Make sure you're breathing, and as your legs get a little more tired, you might not need to get quite as deep as you once did. It's okay, keep trying your best. And I promise you, you come back, repeat this workout, try some of our other workouts, 
you will get stronger, you will see the results. Switch. Here we go, halfway done with this one. Drop it straight down, we give you the side view. Last 10 seconds. Doing great, keep it up. Here we go, three, two, one, zero. All right, jogging in place next. Here we go, doing great. Only a couple more minutes left. Keep pushing yourself. Only competition is yourself. Look in your mirror, that's your competition. Not me, don't try to keep up with me or somebody who might be doing this workout with you. It's all about you, come on, doing great. You are gonna be successful this time around. 70% of people who start a fitness plan quit, but not you, not this time. You are gonna be successful, I believe in you. Come on, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, grabbing those dumbbells. Home stretch, everybody, come on. Weight back in your butt. Opposite arms pulling, alternating. Keep those elbows in, pulling back from the elbows. Keep your back nice and straight. Stay focused, breathe. Doing good, come on now. Focus on what motivates you. Remember why you're here. Something brought you here to begin with. Trying to lose weight, maybe it was a trip to the doctor. Maybe you're just sick of feeling like crap. Whatever it is, don't quit on me now. We're almost there. And three, two, one. All right, set these down. We're gonna do those planks, working on our core. On the knees, get down on the ground. I know it stinks getting down on the ground. Nobody likes it. Drop those hips and hold for 30 seconds. Doing great, come on now. Fight with me, I'm here with you right to the end. We're in it together, you can do it. All right, that's halfway done already. Only 15 more seconds. Come on, stick with me now. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. Up on your feet, come on. Last 30 seconds for the day. Hands on your hips, one leg out, one leg in morning. So that stretch in the back of your leg every time. Butt back, butt forward, and repeat. There it is, and three, two, one, zero. Switch it up. Last 15 seconds for the day, almost there. Here it is, 10 seconds, count down with me. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent job, you're all done. Excellent work, everybody. I'm really proud of you for sticking with this workout right to the end. If you like this workout, make sure you check out Hasbit's website where we have hundreds of free workouts just like this one. We have free meal plans to either lose or gain weight, as well as our complete 30 to 90 day fitness programs. We even have a 30-day complete beginner low-impact program that probably be just right for you. Please do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It will really help keep this great service free. And while you're at it, like us on our Facebook fan page or follow us on Twitter for the best daily motivation sent right to you. Please do me one last favor and stop by our store, pick up a poster or a t-shirt, whatever it takes to help you stay motivated and on track. I'm Coach Kozak from Hasfit, and I'll see you at your next workout.